Hey guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today I'm going to be discussing how to create a dual boot for your computer. Um, uh, the other day I showed you how to install Linux Mint 17.1 on a USB and on an external hard drive. Um, the problem is, is that every time you want to boot into Linux or to your Windows you have to choose it from your BIOS. So what I was going to do is show you a quick way of setting it up so when you start your computer you will get a an option either a timed option or one that you just choose yourself and you can opt to go to boot into Linux or you can boot into your Windows so we are going to need this little bit of software here it's called Easy BCD 2.2 and uh, this will allow you change how your computer boots up so I'll leave a link in the description and all you have to do then is just double click on it. Now I already have an entry in mine as you'll see. I already created a Linux entry so I because I sometimes boot up to my to Linux through my USB so I'm just going to show you how you did that so it might make life a little bit easier for you. So the first thing you come in here you'll have you'll be on your view settings screen once you want to come down here is add new entry click on add new entry and the new entry is Linux so go to Linux and then you want to come in here and you want to use grub2 because that's what Linux uses and then in here you can just you can you can call it a name so I'll just say uh, Linux2 because I have the other one in there already and then in here in the drive area, you want to pick the drive where you have your boot. And as you can see, it shows all of your partitions on your internal hard drive. But if you were following my other video um, about installing it on an external hard drive or on a USB, you'll see that um, I use 300 megabytes for my boot. And this, it's coming up, it's automatically detecting it here as my partition one. So I'm going to choose that. So the same thing should happen for you. If not, you can go back and check out that video um, to see how I partitioned my external hard drive. But uh, once you choose that and you have this set up, just click Add Entry. And then it'll say down here that the entry is was successful. And then you want to come up here to Edit Boot Menu. Click on that. And then in here in the edit boot menu, as you can see, there's the one I've created already. You can, if you like, change the option. So you could have, if you wanted to, you could click here. And that would make Linux 2 boot first before Windows 7. So as you see down here, there's a countdown from 30 seconds. So if you don't choose anything, it will automatically boot into whichever one you've chosen to be the first on the boot list. So I'm going to just go back to Windows 7. But um, you also have the option to wait for user selection. So if you click this and you click Save Settings, what will happen is when you boot up your computer at the beginning, it won't do anything until you choose which one you want to boot into. So usually it's countdown, but 30 seconds is a bit long to choose. Uh, so I'm just going to change that to that 10 seconds should be plenty and once you're once you're happy with your settings all you have to do is click save settings and once you've saved your settings all you have to do then is just close this down and what i'm going to have to do now guys is restart the computer so i'm going to have to show you with my little handheld so guys i'm just restarting my computer now and uh when it reads start, it should uh, come up here with the option. It should have three options now. My original one, um, the Linux 2 and the Windows 7. So. And there you go. As you can see here, guys, it's Windows 7. It's giving me five seconds, so I better go down. Press this for the purpose of the video. But it gives you three options. Um, this option comes up but I don't actually touch it I don't do anything I just let it load up itself so 
Um, it usually takes a few seconds and it'll boot straight in. And there you go guys, uh, it boots in perfectly and that'll happen every time so it'll save you an awful lot of hassle. So. Uh, I hope you liked the video, if it helped you out, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, good luck.